It doesn't look like much from the outside. Certainly not the most conceptual among concept cars. But what makes it one of the most distinctive models at the Geneva Motor Show is not what has been made, but how. Well, with 3D printing, you can really produce everything. So don't, you don't need to respect any uh, intersection of tooling and, and well, big investments of tooling. You just have something in mind. You have to make the data and then go printing. Barkman says building car parts with 3D printers actually cuts cost. But saving money was not the only thing the German manufacturing firm EDAG aimed for when it ventured into this new area. This time we concentrate, we focused on exterior parts to make them light. So this finally is an engineering solution for lightweight production. The concept car is called Light Cocoon, featuring a 3D printed shell that looks like leaves. And to transfer this solution into our car, we are very happy about 3D printing because we can rebuild and recreate and produce skeleton structures like that. So we have here 45 parts which are printed within one week. These printed parts are then covered by a layer of wind and rain resistant fabric, which has been adapted from outdoor clothing, much like dressing the car with a raincoat. Barkman says they want to push the boundary of the industry with this technology and see what it can achieve. To him, this is only just a beginning. What we show is kind of revolution in, in uh, car engineering because we firstly uh, disconnected the skin with the structure underneath. And then you have a lot of freedom together with 3D printing to make really uh, different cars to engineer uh, in the future.